Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode three of the PC build. I've um, in this episode we're, we're gonna I'm gonna be installing the memory module. Okay, well, let's get started, guys. And don't forget to uh, don't forget your uh, wrist strap. Okay. talk about DDR3, DDR2 a little bit. DDR2 is dual channel, DDR3 is uh, tri-channel. Now they're both 240 pin and you'll notice that there's these little, um, oh, I just want to show you the little alignment marks. That's true for uh, both DDR2, DDR3. Um, th these are alignment marks so that these modules only go one way. Okay. Uh, this this mark is not in the center. It's like offset a little bit from the center. So that's how you know it's a good reference. These are just heat sinks, nothing big. Uh, most of the time you just get the modules and they look like this. They just have, they're just the card uh, without all this extra hardware. This is nice because you can overclock these, overclock, uh, clockable, uh, overclockable memory hat will usually have some kind of uh, heat sink attached to it, okay? So yeah, uh, and and to get the benefits of DDR3, get get the, get the benefits of tri-channel or dual-channel uh, uh, speed effects, you're gonna have to put these into specific slots on your motherboard, which is uh, which will be uh, illustrated in your in your manual that come with your motherboard. So at this point, you need to have your your manual for your motherboard, and uh, also the um, oh, and also to, to get the also to get the benefits of uh, tri-channel and dual-channel, you want your your certain parameters for each module have to match up. And I'll show you. These are bought in a set, and that's how you want you'll want to buy memory. Is uh, let me show you. These were bought in a set that came just like this. Um, if you could see that four 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 fifteen, okay. Um, that's one of those numbers is one of those numbers is case la latency and you want that to match up plus your clock speeds but the ba the best way to get them matched up is to just buy your memory if you're gonna go if you're gonna have tri channel the benefit if you want the benefits of the tri channel just buy your memory in kits some of you might still be running Windows XP like I am there's actually a four gigabyte limit on uh, what the operating system can handle, so don't go crazy thinking. Uh, if you, even if your motherboard, uh, if some reason you have a real newer board but you're still running XP, say say your board can handle 12 gigs of RAM but you're running XP, it won't matter because the operating system can't handle any more than eight gigs, or excuse me, uh, four gigabytes. And actually, it's even lower than that once you get into the system, once you check on your parameters. So with that in mind, uh, if you want to go above four gigabytes and actually uh, system register it operating, you need Windows 7, and that's what I would be upgrading to. Uh, don't yeah, if you've got uh, if you're running four gigs right now, and you even though you got room on your motherboard to upgrade and you're running XP, don't bother because it's not going to even matter. Okay. So if you got any questions on that, just leave a comment. I can. Uh, I can uh, reflect on that a little more. So, okay, let's uh, let's get to installing these. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do when installing, you want to unlock the uh, the locks <laughs> and uh, just pull them down. Okay, do that on each side. These actually will uh, these uh, these locks will actually come up. The lever levers will come up once you install the module. I'll sh you'll see that in a second here. Okay, so we're back here. Um, the uh, the module, the uh, the dims. These are called dims. These and then the memory modules are called dim modules. Okay, now the dim modules have they're numbered. Uh, there's four here, you, as you can tell visually, but they're not numbered like that. They're not one through four. Uh, in software and hardware, uh, in in the software and hardware industry, um, everything starts at zero. Uh, when I in my programming background, it was always zero, so array started at zero. So and that's how they do it in the hardware industry too. So you've got 
this is dim uh, this is dim zero okay but it doesn't actually go in order uh, this is actually you got dim zero we got dim one this is dim one then it goes back to dim two then to dim three so actually one is zero okay so just remember that when they're talking when you when you're when you're looking at the manual and they're talking about dim zero that's just look for and it'll actually be labeled on the board so you just gotta look for that on the board so remember zero is one um, also a quick tip here I noticed that on my board um, on my board it's at they're labeled uh, differently than what the manual actually says and that if that happens to you I would actually use the labeling on the motherboard uh, that's going to be more. That's going to be more accurate than the actual instructions. Okay, even though um, if that happens to you, just go by the uh, the labels that are on the uh, on the motherboard itself. And, and, and on my instructions, they list uh, dim one, dim one as being right here, but it, this is actually dim two. Okay, so this is dim zero, dim two, dim one, dim three. Even though in the instructions they have them labeled sequentially. So go buy the motherboard label if you have any, uh, if there's any confusion. Okay, for my configuration, uh, according to the manual, uh, I need configuration seven. I'll show you that. That's usually what the configuration table looks like. Let's see. There we go. See that right there. Okay and they tell you which slots to occupy to get that dual channel effect so you can tell I need six okay because I'm only using two modules okay so in this case uh, I'm using six so let's see um, so six calls for dim one to be populated I'm sorry dim one <laughs> Gotta watch the labels dim one and dim three these two will be occupied with the modules and that'll give you my dual channel okay all right so uh, we're gonna install the modules now and I just wanted to show you uh, remember that little uh, remember that little notch in the uh, memory module well, that goes right excuse me that that's right there see that see that there's there's they're all across there they, they're all aligned and just match up uh, the reference point that notch to the notch on the uh, the dim. Okay, and that's it. And then what you do is carefully, you'll see what happens. Now watch watch these tabs. Okay, on the other side too. Okay, okay, got to tr apply even force. Okay, see that they kind of snapped in. Sometimes they don't, but that's okay. Just if they don't all all the way snap in, just go ahead and. And uh, put that one, uh, snap them, lock them in place. And we'll install the other one. Okay. Okay. And that's it. And you're locked in, man. It's locked in. Make sure everything's locked. If you have any other modules, just go ahead and put them in. Um, but again, to get that dual channel benefit, you want to uh, make sure that all the modules are the same. Case late, uh, latency um, uh, and uh, speed. Uh, so, like I said, whatever, where, where, however you buy your modules, if you want that, that benefit of the tri-channel, the dual channel, you'll want to buy it in a kit form. Mm -hmm.